important lessons we will ever learn regard our safety, whether it's on foot, on wheels, or near the train tracks. I'm Katherine Getze, here at the National Night Out Against Crime in Barrington to get some tips from the Barrington Police Department on what we can all do to make Barrington a safer place to live. Let's get started. It gives us a good platform to establish communication with our own residents and it's a co-active relationship and more proactive in getting them out and seeing us in a different light and seeing what we're all about and also what different units we participate in. Uh, these are called Fatal Vision. Uh, what these glasses do, uh, it's basically a prism. They affect your overall maneuverability and capability for uh, uh, the same as you would if someone was twice the legal limit, which is .16. I got to try out some of the activities at the Night Out Against Crime, including the mock sobriety test with the Fatal Vision goggles. How was that? Uh, terrible. So driving drunk? Definitely not a good idea. But what is a good idea is staying safe on and around the train tracks. Check out these train safety tips. I caught up with the Lake County Metropolitan Enforcement Group, a narcotics task force from the Illinois State Police. These are two different displays we have. Um, we bring these out because uh, not many people are familiar with uh, some of the um, uh, drug identification aspects of, uh, of the narcotics world. What do you got going on here in your vest? You got a lot of things, yeah. a lot of things happening. This is a tourniquet. This is one of those things where if uh, you need to cut off blood flow or, you know, um, we I watch cops. Yeah, so uh, rifle magazines right here. I have uh, two of them. Um, each one carries 30 rounds in it. So, you can, so I carry two of those. After feeling the weight of the mags, I tried on the full vest, which normally weighs up to 50 pounds. Next, I caught up with Kathy Phelan at the bike booth and learned the importance of wearing a helmet. As a trauma coordinator at Advocate Good Shepherd Hospital, I see kids and adults that come in that aren't wearing their helmets all the time. And they can come in with anything from a concussion to a major brain bleed for not wearing their helmets. Yes, for fitting the helmets to make sure they are on appropriately because quite often people wear them much too loosely. Then the helmet would wiggle and it wouldn't be a protection for them. One of the biggest treats of the night was getting to see the police canine demonstration. Here are some of Max's best tricks. I mean, we're all on the same team. We need the community, they need us, and, and if we can get to the kids and educate them early and have that in the back of their minds and actually basically just let them know that we are here for them. And that's, that's really the main point. Well, there you have it. I hope this video report has helped you and your family learn some of the key lessons about personal safety and crime prevention that you can apply to your everyday lives. Until next time, I'm Katherine Getze for 365 Barrington TV reporting.